Hey friends, it's Kurt from Transformative Journeys back at you again with another mindfulness exercise. And this one might be a little bit unusual. In fact, I, I may be the only person I know who does it. <laughs> I've only think, I think I've only ever spoken with one other rider about doing it. And that was the guy who was my, uh, who was my coach at California Superbike School. Um, and this one I think is a really good one for getting to know you and your bike. And it's just an interesting experience. And it's, it's really interesting if you get a chance to do it on more than one bike. Because uh, you'll have an experience on each bike that will, is likely to be a little bit different. Maybe, not necessarily, but in, in my experience, it's likely to be a little bit different. And that is, where is the roll center of my motorcycle when I'm riding? Now, you recognize that when, when a motorcycle goes down the road, when it leans the tires don't stay on the same track. It doesn't, it doesn't roll as it, the axis for the roll is not around the tire contact patch. When you turn, like you're going to turn, oh, well, I'm showing with my hand turning to the left. The, when you turn, the bike is going to roll higher than the tires. The tires are going to displace outward and you and your, your body are going to displace inward into the turn. Similarly, if you're going into a right-hand turn, the tires are going to, are going to, displace outward they're going to displace to the left and your body's going to displace to the inside in this case to the right your body always displaces to the inside tires always displace to the outside but where is that roll center can you feel it can you feel it is it is it down around the swing arm pivot is it up a little bit higher than the swing arm pivot is it right under the seat and and one of the things that prompted me to do this other than the fact that i think it's an interesting thing to do and actually i find i have a preference your preference may be different and i'm not interested in telling you what's right or what's wrong because what what is right is frequently what feels familiar um what got me thinking about this was i saw a video the other day <clears throat> about some um some video game. I, I can't remember the name of the one, but it was, it's one that's about racing at the Isle of Man TT at the mountain course. And, and it is giving hints on the video is telling you how to be good at it. And they're showing footage, the onboard footage in the game. And I'm thinking to myself, what is wrong with this footage? What feels odd? Shows the, you know, shows from, from the rider's perspective, the bike going back and forth and you can see the windscreen, you can see the instruments, you can see at least the, you know, the steering head. I can't remember if you can see the handlebars, but you can, you can see at least that much. And I thought, why does this look weird? Why does this not look like anything I recognize? And it was because where the roll center was, where the, what, the, 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 the axis of the bike's roll left to right as it goes through the turns was way up high. It was actually higher than the motorcycle. It was probably around the rider's belly button or even around the center of their chest, even around their solar plexus. It was, but it was, it was, it was higher than the seat. It was higher than the handlebars. Those things were all going back and forth underneath that roll axis. And you could see that in the screen and it's not, you know, Riding is not like that. That's the roll center. Well, at least not any bike I've ever ridden. I've never ridden a bike where the roll center is, is, uh, is higher than the seat when I'm riding it. So go out and when you ride your bike, as you go through turns, as you, as you go through the transition into the turn and the transition coming out of the turn, where is the axis that the bike is rolling around? Feel it. Feel it. And if you ride more than one bike, feel that bike too. And ask yourself the question, is it different? Is it the same? And you even ask yourself whether you like one more than the other. This is a really fun one. This is almost sort of an advanced class in, in awareness of how your motorcycle actually operates. So there's your mindfulness exercise. Talk to you soon. Bye-bye.